Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 345 of playing chess every day until 2000 ELO. And before we hop into a live game, I want to show you one of the craziest games I've played. And when I say crazy, I don't mean crazy brilliant. This is probably one of the stupidest games you will have seen between two 1900s. So the game starts off with the Sicilian. Wait, no, no, no. I thought it was a French, but then it transposes into a Sicilian. So he tricked me. And now we don't play for the Grand Prix attack because, I mean, I guess I could go like this, but that just seems like a bad move. And yeah, I mean, this really threw me off because typically it's here, here, and then I go here, but they included D6 or E6 first. So I thought it was going to be a French anyways. So we get this position where they play an early a6. And I play c3 just trying to stay solid. And I was thinking, okay, maybe we'll just like transpose into some kind of tirage position. But the computer already wants d5. Anyways, that doesn't happen. And then they just take space. And apparently this is wrong. I go here to protect the pawn and develop. I don't know. I'm just playing moves and then they lock it down and yeah I mean we have a we have a very very nice center they have some stuff over here but I'm not really too worried about it just an equal position we just develop and then we we do we do attack the little pawn chain there queen takes was better but I wanted to keep the pawns connected also opens up the rook anyways I mean the position is just equal we're getting development done and then uh, we we play c4, attacking. They jump in, which is a complete blunder because I have this. It looks like they're attacking both of these pieces. But this bishop's undefended, so this is a fork. And now we're just winning. This game should be very, very simple and easy to win. Knight takes. We take the bishop. We're attacking the rook. So they move the knight, and then we capture the free piece. Great. This, this should... Should be so easy, right? I mean, just bring the rook, manually castle. Make sure you don't trap your queen. Which is why I played here. Just making room. Slide back. They develop. They have a super nice bishop. Which is why I moved the knight here. Also looking at the square. But I also want to just try to get rid of it. So that's what we do. It's a bad move. They come in. And... I don't, I just, I don't know. When I'm in such winning positions like this, I just panic. And I allow him to take the pawn for free. And then we take. Apparently we're supposed to just go king back. And if this, this, it's no biggie because they can't take. They lose the queen. So now what do they play? It says play queen d4. This hangs, but we just take. And probably if they go into this, I mean, this is just completely winning. Oh, don't hang the rook. Don't hang the rook. I mean, I say it's completely winning, but it's still not so simple. Anyways, we take, we allow him to come in. And now he's he's hitting this twice and he's hitting the knight. So we're, we got into a really complicated position here. We have to bring the queen back. And then he takes the pawn. And now uh, we're, we're only up a pawn. Well, I guess we we have two, two pawns for the piece or something. I don't know. He has two pawns, and I have an extra piece. And then we just trade. And then we go back, because if we just, I don't know, carelessly attack the queen, which this is a stupid move because they can just take. But the point is that the knight is pinned. Don't... Okay, that's a bad example. Let's just say that I go here to protect. They have this, which apparently isn't the best move. But, because I can go here. Takes, takes... And then takes so. though. Yeah. Anyways. So we go king back. And now they have a pass pawn. <laughs> I'm like. I, I use 10 seconds here. And I just play queen b2. Giving them the piece. Why? Why do you play like this? Anyways. Now. Now we're just completely lost. Because they have a super strong pawn. They're up a piece. Or actually they're not up a piece. Sorry. They're up two pawns. Pieces are equal now. We blundered the piece back to them, but they have two pawns. And now they have three. 
we go king here. And now we're just going to start maneuvering. Honestly, this was resignable, but this is why you never resign. This game is guess the elo material. In all honesty, because what happens is insane. So they just naturally start pushing the pawns. It's very scary. I don't know what to do. I'm just throwing my stuff forward. I take, take. And now I have something to work with. The king is a little bit more exposed. This diagonal is weak. And uh, if I can line something up, I don't know, somehow get my queen attacking this, it'll be all right. But I go to the back rank. Why did I do that? I think if I went over here, I don't know. I was, I was scared of a lot of things. Anyways, we go back. Then we get off of this uh, discovered chuck. And then we make a little bit of room so that we can move our pieces around. They bring the rook up. Not really sure what that does. But now we bring our rook back. I was surprised that they didn't do this. I was going to go here anyways, but like, you start just pushing these pawns, man. You have three pass pawns. They get behind their pass pawn. I go here attacking the queen. Is this really the best move? Is that what it just said? <laughs> it's not. Um, but I thought I saw an arrow doing that. So now we double up. He pushes. We attack the pawn. Now it's good to note that if we take the pawn, we're just going to lose. They can just push. And now their their pawns are way too strong. Oops, spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, where were we? We were right, right here. So now we've configured our rook to be attacking this. And the queen's attacking it. So there, we, we know that they have to always be protecting the checkmate. Now we have some threats. We bring the other rook in. We try to sack the rook. Because if they take, it's main one, right? They're not going to blunder that. So we, we try and we try. It's all good. And then we just we step up with the rook. We're trying to fix these pawns in. And this rook becomes very important. You just wait. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, yeah. They play rook c2. Why is this a bad move? Because it stops protecting the back rank. This is is such a natural move. You're attacking the queen. You're kicking it away. You're planning to push and promote. But we go here. And guess what? While you're dealing with, you know, your 19, 20 points of material over here, about to be 29 points or 28, I guess, because this would promote. I have my own 29 in front of your king. They get greedy and push B2. And I knew in this position that I had something. I have two minutes to figure it out and I find a very nice continuation. However, it wasn't the cleanest, but check in here. And in this position, I believe the computer says sack the rook here because you have some kind of checkmate. It's like here, here, um, king can't move. So it has to block, but then you go not there. Uh, what is it? Oh yeah. You give this check and then if they, they have to block, and then you can take here, and then they have to block, and it's mate. However, I didn't see that. And I play calm, cool, collected, queen f5, allowing them to promote to a queen. And after this, you might think, oh, they're just going to play check. They're going to trade some pieces. But that's why I put the queen here. We're setting up discovery defenses. Because if they go check, we're just going to block. And then they're going to get checkmated because they have to go here. And then boom. So naturally, they just attack the queen. But we have takes. We have rook takes because, well, they can't do this because it's double check. They can't take the queen because the rook is checking the king too. So the only move is to take. And then they get checkmated up 15 points of material. This is a wild checkmate. In a wild game and i really just wanted to share it with you but with that said let's find our opponent all right we find black ninja and we have the white pieces so let's go e4 we are at 1897 playing a sicilian a lot of people are playing these uh e6 lines yeah let's go here takes 
I believe we just take. All is good. We haven't pushed the pawn, so we can go pin. We're going to take and double the pawns. This is a bad move. I could play here, but then they're just going to do this. Could also just go queen here. And I could also just take. Taking allows the queen out, though. Let's bring the queen out. We're going to protect our knight. Now we have some, some weakness to work with. Oh. That doesn't really feel that great. Knight here attacks the pawn, but then they just play this. I could castle. Let's just castle. Jumping the knight in feels good, but I don't think it's the correct move. I want to pressure this pawn. Maybe I go like this here, but then they can push probably. Well, not right now. Let's see. Let's go here. Maybe that was a bad move because they can take, take, play here. Yeah, but we would just take first. Play like knight here. And if they take, take, I get the open F file. If they go check, which I thought that they might, can just step over, takes, takes, everything's protected. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I, I blundered bad. Oh, oh boy. Um, I completely missed that my rook was hanging. Why? I don't know. I don't know, bro. Oops. Okay, let's take this. That was terrible. I saw the check, I just completely forgot. Dang it. It's all good, though. It's all good. Let's take the pawn. Okay, let's move. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, let's play a better game. <sighs> oh, gosh. Okay, we got the Karo Khan here against the 1911. Takes... Just ignore that first game. Check? Really? Why are they going for check first? I don't think that's a move, though. Why is that not a move? Here takes... I think I can expand? Why is that not a move? Here takes... Then maybe play like this? I just specifically remember this not really being that good. But I can't remember why. Okay, now we're going to play like this and try to put the bishop on this diagonal. Hit the queen. Blunder upon, because why not? Okay, we're not just chessing today. Chessing is not happening. Takes, takes, takes. Yeah. I mean, we're just playing poorly today, guys. Playing too quick. That's the problem. Yeah, I don't really know what that was about. Two terrible games. After showing you a horrendous game in the start. I don't know, every time I get close to 1900, it's just like, boom. Go back. You are not deserving. All right, so I believe I get my pawn back by taking and then going here. No, he just has this. But then we go here. So here, here. If they drop back, we can take, take, and take. But then they can take here. No, they can't because this would be protected. All right, so they're just going to give me the pawn. But after this, we might be cooked. So maybe we just play king up. Is that a wild move? Let's play king up. Let's attack this. I don't really want that bishop in my position. Oh, actually. Wait a minute. If they go back, they probably have to go to this square. Because if they go here, I can go here and kick them this way. Or they can just take. That also makes a lot of sense. Push takes. I could step the king up. Big stepper. Go for it. Right there. I mean, now we are going to infiltrate. Bring the rook here, or the, the bishop here, so that I can activate my other rook. That's the plan. We could. I mean, why am I blundering this much? No, they just get out of the way. We're going to push the pawn. I don't really need to be down two pawns. I have to take with the king. Protect with the rook. I mean, he's trading down, but my king is so close to being over here. And his, his knight's almost trapped. What if I go like this? Yeah, like, what if I play here and go for this? Take up all the squares. So he can go check here. Pick up the pawn, so let's push the pawn. And if he goes check, we just step back. And now we can potentially get in here with the, the bishop, and that'll be pretty strong. Check. 
check, but we can just go forward. And he's going to attack my pawn chain, does he not? Here, here, here. Let's come forward. He's going to attack. But what if I go here and just say, screw that and invest in this? Knight back's a bad move too. Not anymore, but. So if I go here or here, he goes here. And then we go here. Takes, takes. He comes back. We push. I like it. We're just going to fully commit to this pawn. And if I can get the king up there, I think it'll be even stronger. So, rook back. If he takes, I mean, I'm going to go here. Here, he goes here. Let me go here. Check, we just go here. Yeah, I mean, I go here, and what are you, how are you stopping my pawn from prom promoting? He can't go there. And then we're just going to get behind his pass pawn, I think. I mean, he has a gazillion of them, but we're about to have a queen. Rook back. What does that do? If I go here, I think he just wants to give checks, but we can just step up. The only check in the position is to go here. If he does this, we can just go here. Actually, if he goes here, I'm going to play this. Because I want a queen. I have so many... There's so many pawns to deal with that I don't know if the rook's going to be enough. Yeah, so he goes there. So if I play this, do you have any checks with the knight? No. So if you were to go check, I can go here. Still no checks with the knight. So let's just block it up. Okay, but the real question is, where do we go? So if I go here check we just run up i think i think it's better to go this way because if he goes back then we just promote and protect so i don't really want my king stuck on the edge of the board still no checks with the rook so i go here i could even maybe play this but we're gonna go here knight's back what does that even that just blocks his only square he wants this so i could promote he takes we go here i could even play this now let's just maybe protect. Protect their only pawn. Yeah, let's go here and protect. I don't think there's a need to allow him to take with check. And he's never going to get through. And after promotes... Okay, but if he if he takes check here... Also, that's just a free rook. What am I doing? Yeah, I didn't even realize that was a free rook. Okay, we played with an 82.8. My opponent played with a 77. Karo Khan... This is all good. Yeah, I thought that this is wrong. And then knight d2. I mean, the queen doesn't really want to be there. I just thought that the whole idea, or like one of the ideas of this opening is that you want to put the bishop here. So putting the pawn on this square doesn't really make a lot of sense, but we play it in this fashion, which is just inaccurate after inaccurate. Yeah, because we just blunder a pawn here straight out. <laughs> it was a bit silly takes and yeah, we had to take that we could have protected with the we could have protected with the bishop here but our king was the savior what did we have knight back what about just takes oh yeah we deflect this off of the defense of the or the knight but we miss it and then we have a tactic here yeah because it takes takes and if uh, if here, here we take the rook first, says so bishop takes, then I would probably take here, hg, and then king d4. Yeah, we're up a pawn. We missed a lot in this video. We have the act of rook. And then, yeah, I mean, this was the best move because we're threatening to go here and put the knight out of play, not trap it because it can go here, but... Push the pawn so that he doesn't have check and picking up the extra pawn. And then this is where I kind of felt like he was going to get greedy. And he did. Although I should have saved the pawn, I guess. And I took. And then he just starts taking all the pawns. Although apparently I'm supposed to go here. I don't really know what the difference is. I mean, you can attack this pawn, but 
I thought having the rook here was really helpful for promoting. And he just let me push the pawn. Like every move, he was not dealing with this threat. Yeah, and then bishop here. I didn't want to promote and then uh, play this end game. I guess we're only up a pawn in that situation too. So, yeah, because he's up three points of material already. So, and now it's just impossible for him to uh, stop me from promoting. And there we missed a free rook, but it didn't matter. And uh, we end the video at 1898, exactly where we started. We'll uh, we'll break above 1900 and stay there one of these days. It's all right. Performance yield of 2100 versus 1900 for me. And I want to go back and look at that first game. I kind of just skimmed over it, but I made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. So this is all book. That's the best. I should have just took and then takes, takes, d3. Yeah. Bishop d6, putting pressure. Play queen e2, give him the pawn. If he takes queen e4. Oh, that's nasty. If he takes, you take here. If he does that, then I mean, can you start gobbling? Can you take this? I mean, this is pretty questionable. Oh, oh, takes. It says king h1, so that he doesn't have that. Queen b2, takes. I mean, why wouldn't he just like take the pawn? Oh, that hangs the, the bishop. Anyways, I mean, we, we went for this. Protected. I thought we were better. And then playing b3 wasn't the worst thing in the world, but we just allowed this. Why is this drawing? Should we go here? It's attacking this, but what if he just protects? Bishop here, and the queen has no squares. <sighs> okay. Um, what was it that we did? We just moved the king. <laughs> and then we just bl <laughs> we blundered everything. Okay. So, this was just me playing too quick. B3 wasn't entirely bad. But we shouldn't have took the knight here. Wait, can't we just take? No, queen B6. Why is that so good? What about this? Oh, it's because there's a skewer here. I keep missing that skewer. Queen B6. Knight here. There's still the skewer. And that's why he's better. Yeah. Yeah, so I just missed this idea. Also, yeah, I probably should have just clarified the position here. He's got weakness. Could have just played like this. And, uh... Or, it says d3. Open this up. But then this is always weak. Castles. 95 now. Check. And if he takes... A4. Why would you go into this? You're just down two pawns. Rook AB1. It's saying sack the queen now? Bro. Sockfish be wild. Yeah, I mean. Sorry you guys had to watch this game. So knight here is actually a mistake. Why is it a mistake though? I don't understand. Just because it allows the doubled pawns, I think. I mean, I'm very familiar with this position. I just totally missed. I don't know why I played B B3. Even just going here seems better. No, because there's always a skewer. I gotta see even like in the analysis when I've already looked at this like four times. I'm even missing it. That's such a sneaky move. That was the... Uh, oh. That was the idea of A5. I wasn't thinking of his threats. He was setting something up here. And that was castles. He had it here too. Well, no he didn't. Because I can just play this. That's sneaky though. It's very sneaky. I'll have to remember that idea. Yeah. Mm, I see. I see. Yeah, he was just waiting for his opportunity. Uh... Pushes. What if I just take the pawn? I didn't like it because it doubles my pawns and isolates this, but 
I mean, it protects this. I just, I did not see this idea at all. So that's kind of what happened there. So this is rook b1 or rook b8. Yeah, I mean, this is totally playable. You can always just play d3 and now your pawns are doing an okay job. Yeah, I mean, if he takes here, we're going to take with the queen, obviously. Now this is hit, probably goes here. This is c5. That makes sense too. But we got some stuff to work with here. I mean, we can start attacking the pawn prob probably with like bishop here, which loses the advantage apparently, but I don't see that much wrong. Why not go here? Bishop takes f3. Oh, you can take, take, bishop f6. And the queen is almost trapped here. Oh, I. it's another skewer. I'm not seeing skewers today. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Anyways. Wonder the fort. But we got our points back. It's all good. Once I stop doing that stuff, my like this is this is the stuff that's holding me back. It's these games. It's these games alone that are holding me back. But if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.